Actually, I do know how but I didn't film it because it was very stressful and basically I didn't want to do that we are actually on a tour to Pamukkale which is translated to cotton castle as soon as I got back to Turkey we had to go on this tour I made it back just in time right now we're just making a little pit stop to use the restroom and I will show you guys how Pamukkale looks once we get there. But yeah, I'm so happy to finally be on the road again. I do have my cell phone, you guys, all as well. Let's go see some cool things in Turkey now. Okay, we're just gonna stop to get some lunch. I think it's like a buffet style lunch. So let's see what they have in store for us. Let me show you guys the building. It looks pretty nice. It's nice and sunny. I was worried that it was going to be cold because in our first stop in the morning it was pretty cold. But now it's nice and sunny. Ryan Little. <laughs> Cotton Castle, Pamukkale. Left side is the Travertins. People, you can see the area that people walk. You will walk. You see left side. It is the walking area. It is the central part of the old Travertins. You see, it is really a large area. It's really very big, large area. This side and other side, it is dry part, but the middle, central part, is watery area. It is still there is natural stream coming directly to the central part. Okay, we have just made it through the entrance. We're gonna go see some ancient ruins first and then we're gonna go look at the little pools. We have a guide with us, so he's gonna explain okay. a lot of cool things. Okay, follow me please. Yes, sir. Okay, <laughs> we have just passed the Byzantium gate over here. Acropolis, Polis and Necropolis. Acropolis is actually the highest part of the city and generally it is the first settlement area of an ancient city. Why? Because when you want to settle a new city somewhere, first when you go there, any when you choose your area, the most important detail is safety at first, right? Because of that, if you want to defend yourself, if you are in a high place, you get the advantage. Because of that, in the antique cities, you always see one Acropolis area, high place. In this area, when you look where is the high place, this part, centuries BC, when they first started building all these uh, buildings here. From Hellenistic time, when you look around, what else can you see? You can see the main street, some part of the main street. It is also under the ground now. Around, you can see very fertile areas, lower part here. So if they wanted, they would they would establish the city over there. So this is the reason why they came here and they got this area. The Traveritans, they got these forms in million years, not suddenly, not in 10 years, 20 years, 100 or not 400, 500 years, longer time. Also, you should think about the, the quantity of this water. This water is getting less and less, it's decreasing. Now we have the main stream, main channel, it goes up and then goes there, over there, it, it feeds the Travertins area. For example, some days when I come here, I see full of water here, but some days, for example, today when I come here, I see it dry. So you can see the fountains over here, all the parts full of fountains. So they turn on these fountains every day, different ones. They turned on some other ones, different ones. 
side or this side. Start with muddy. So this is also very white. This white color comes from so much calcium in the water. Okay, we just spotted the first pools. It's pretty amazing. Very, very beautiful. This is our guide. I'll give you all of his information at the end so that you can go and find him. He is amazing. Thanks a lot. <laughs> All right, you guys, so our guide has officially left us here so that we can hang out and view the travertines. So yeah, this is really amazing. I've seen videos of this place. I've seen pictures of this place. So now it's time for us to see it in real life and see how it really is. Let's go check it out. We have to take our shoes off because you cannot walk on the pools with shoes or sandals. So you have to go barefoot. So we're gonna take off our shoes and then we're gonna go see how they look. Let's go. because you cannot be wearing sandals. Um, be with a brown color. Okay. Slippery, slippery huh? yes. Thank you. Only the black one. So you see here the brown, it's slippery. So be careful with this. We're gonna just step on the gray parts. It is a little hard, so to walk you have to be kind of careful, but I like it. This is what it takes to go to the white part, so we're gonna just do what we have to do. It's kinda nice being barefoot though, look. Como te va, see? All right, guys. What you all have been waiting for, or at least what I've been waiting for, is this view right here. They're very, very white. The white color is from the calcium buildup. And apparently it's good for your skin. I think people even like put some of the sand or whatever's on the bottom of the water, they'll put it on their face. We already took our pictures. People do come here just to obviously see the view and then also to take lots of pictures. So if you want to put pictures on your Instagram, this is the time to do it because you will have plenty of opportunity and many people are already doing that. So you're gonna fit right in. There's a lot of people, so it is kind of tough to take a clear picture without anybody in the background, but that's okay. It's still really beautiful. Certain areas of the travertines you can't walk on because apparently water is not flowing throughout them anymore. So they wanna try their best to preserve them because without the water, the travertines will turn dark. They've created some sort of watering system in those travertines that are not functioning naturally anymore. It is very nice. I can imagine that we're getting a nice tan with all this white underneath us. After this, I think we're gonna go to the Cleopatra pool so that we can become really nice and young. 10 years younger is what they say. If you go in there, you're gonna come back 10 years younger. So, I mean, we don't, we don't need it, but let's go. No necesitamos, pero igual. area of the pool this is the Cleopatra pool apparently if you go in here you'll come out 10 years younger so that's what we're hoping for today um, I have the tickets in hand each ticket costs 130 lira we bought our tickets with our tour guide so I don't know if he gave us a better price I'm not really sure I'm pretty sure it's 130 lira to come in they don't give you towels so do bring a towel if you are planning on coming here and you want to swim in the Cleopatra pool with your ticket you do get a locker so you can put all your stuff there and then afterwards you just give your key to the locker safe box people and then that's it um, so let's go do that I really really want to go swim so I'm gonna try to hurry and put our stuff away very quickly and then we're gonna go to the pool okay we put our stuff in the locker we have our key let's go to the pool 
Okay, we have finished with our day here at Pamukale. We came on a tour. I will give you guys all the information for the tour, the tour company that we took, the name of our guide. He was really, really good. He gave us a lot of good information on our way up. So I'll put his information in the description box as well. We're actually gonna be staying here. We're not going back with the group. We're gonna be heading towards another city here in Turkey called Selçuk, something like that, because we are gonna go to Ephesus. So that's gonna be our next part of our journey thank you so much for watching please give this video a like subscribe to the channel leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite part of this video was also let me know if you have been to Pomacale and what your favorite part has been and I will see you guys in the next video hold me close till I get up time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left the storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wasteland. So we just got dropped off at the train station in Goncali From here we're gonna take a train that goes to Selçuk Which is a city near Ephesus. We were actually gonna take the night train, overnight train, but it seems like we can take a train now and since there's not much to do here, we're gonna just try to take it as soon as possible. So this is gonna be fun. We're gonna go on the train first time in Turkey. Very excited. Through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays, and on and on we'll go. Through the wastelands, through the highways, Vamos a ponernos un poco de calcio en la cara. ¿Qué te parece? Uh, ¿Quieres o no? no. <laughs> yeah. Hi guys, my name, I'm a professional tour guide. Yes, good afternoon, Simon. Jakob Axel, based in Antalya, but I'm a countryside guide in all Turkey. When you come for ex excursions, you can find me. Yes. That's it. Have a nice day.